Hi my friends, I'm so excited to be here with you today and I cannot wait to read you our story. Today's story is called Pie in the Sky and it's written by Lois Ahert. Hmm, I just noticed something. Pie and sky, they rhyme, they sound alike. Like pie, sky, bye, pie and sky rhyme. Hmm, wait, have you ever seen a pie in the sky? I haven't either. Okay, so we have the front cover. Ooh, what do you see? I see this big circle and little birds. Let's count the birds. One, two, three. And then we have the back cover. What's on the back cover? You're right. It's all the different colors of the rainbow and a big heart. Hmm. Cannot wait to see what the story is going to be about. Pie in the Sky by Lois Elhart. This tree was here when we moved here. Dad says it's a pie tree. Have you ever seen a pie tree? I see a blue jay feathers with black stripes and a red tip and a green caterpillar with a yellow band and an orange false eye. But I do not see any pie. I've never seen pies growing on trees. Wouldn't that be something? I see green grass, red ladybugs, red brown bark, and a blue green dragonfly. But no pie. Do you see the ladybugs right up here? Dad showed me buds on our tree today. He says that's a good sign, but we won't know till summer if we'll have great pie. Hmm. I see yellow leaves with green spots, brown buds, a brown chrysalis. Huh, do you see a brown chrysalis on there? Right here. And a big gray snow sky. See the gray sky? But no pie. Winter is finally over and sweet spring is here at last. Buds that we saw last fall are bursting into blooms. The blooms are the flowers on the tree. I see green leaves and white blossoms, yellow pollen dust, Blue eggs in a brown nest. Hmm, do you see blue eggs in a brown nest right here? And black stripes on a yellow butterfly, but no pie. But now a damp wind is blowing. And the flower petals are all falling down and like rain. I see white petals and dark gray tails. Hmm, do you see any dark gray tails? <gasps> the bird tails, huh? Brown branches in a gray rainy sky, but no pie. <gasps> do you know what? I think something's finally growing on that tree of ours. I see orange and lime green balls, yellow moon and stars, a pale green moth and a dark blue sky, but no pie. The birds sure sound excited. I wonder what's going on. I see a robin's rusty red breast, his belly's red, and a white speckled throat. Ooh, do you see the little white speckles on his neck? A gray cattail bird with a brown crown. Hmm. Do you see how his feathers make a crown up here? And a purple violet clouds in a pink and orange sky. But no pie. Let's count how many birds we see. One, two, three, Four. There are four birds. Hmm, I think that number might be important later today. Uh-oh. Now 
I see? I see brown cherry pits. Oh, there's a cherry pit, the inside of the cherry. Red wing tips. See how the tips of their wings are red? And white rings around Robin's black eyes. But no pie. Those birds look like they're getting a good snack though. It's a cherry fest. I see orange breasted Oreos, black spots and tips on butterfly wings. There's the Oreos. Red ripe cherries in bright blue sky, but still no pie. But hey, raccoon, save some for us. Oh, do you see the giant raccoon? I see a raccoon's black mask, black toes, <gasps> there they are, black nose and eye, and a lime green glow of fireflies. Do you see the fireflies glowing? But no pie. At last, Dad says it's time for us to pick the cherries. I see gray wings and a black and orange tail, a yellow beak, and a silver gray pail, right here a silver gray pail, and a blue fly, but still no pie. Do you see the blue fly anywhere? There it is. We're going to make a pie. Wait, this says we're gonna make a pie. So maybe they're not gonna find a pie tree. Do you think they're gonna make a pie out of cherries? First, we wash the cherries and we squeeze out all the pits and we save the juice. Then we put the cherries into a bowl. We add the juice, the flour and sugar and some cinnamon and we stir it with a spoon. Next, we make the pie crust. <gasps> See the crust of the pie? We roll out two crusts and we press one into the pan. Then we pour the filling. So then you pour the cherries and the juice and all that sugar and yumminess into it. We add the crust on top of the pie and we wait for it to bake. Now, after it's done, Dad cuts the pie. He puts a piece on each plate. Do you see the shape that Dad cut the pie in? What shape is that? You're right, it's a triangle. Wow, that was the best pie I've ever eaten. Look at all the forks on the plates and how the pies are all gone. I wonder if the birds would like it. There's a bird. Oh, oh, do the birds like the pie? The end. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, today's challenge is going to be this. The number four. Can you show me four with your fingers? Four. Now four is really cool. Did you know you can make four different ways? You can make four with two and two. Let's count them. Two, three, four. Or you can make four with three and one. One, two, three, four. How else could you make four? Could you go one, two, three, four? I wonder. Okay, so to draw four, it goes like this. It goes down and over, then down some more. That is how you make a four. One more time, are you ready? Down and over, down some more. That is how you make a four. I cannot wait to see the fours that you make. And now, you have one more challenge for this morning before you start your activity. And that is going to be to find four things that are red. So I went around the room and I found four things that are red. Wanna see them? I found red scissors, 
a red cheek, ba, a red spoon, and a red arch. Remember when we talked about arches and we made them? So let's see how many items I found. One, two, three, four. And I want you to see if you can find four things that are red around your house this morning. I think you can do it. And I cannot wait to see what you find that is red. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. But before we go, let's sing a good morning song. Are you ready? Hello to you. Hello to you. Hello, my friend. Hello to you. And I hope you have an absolutely marvelous day. Bye.